Yo, yo, what's that? Yo, yo. There's someone over there. There's someone there. So this is it guys, the infamous Hellfire Club. Try to make yourself known to us. How do you know my name? Shut up. Shut up. And it said Carla then. Shit. What was that? Did you hear that? Yeah, what was that? That was the footsteps. That was footsteps. 100%. 100, yeah, 100%. Is that you causing Carl pain? <laughs> Man. What, what did I just say then? It is, yes. Do you need us to help? Carl stay. Carl stay. Carl stay. Bro, he's just told me to stay. Man, I don't think I'm staying here on my own, man. I'm getting a horrible vibe, bro. What? Yo, what was that? Did you see it? What the f***? What was that? I'm scared the hell out of me. What? what? I'm just... No, what was that? Welcome everyone, currently on a road trip in Ireland right now, this is our last day and today we've actually come, or tonight I should say, we've actually come to what is known as the Hellfire Club. This place is said to be super, super haunted and I've been wanting to do this place for a long, long time but obviously I've never come to Ireland before until this week. I sound like Ross Kemp all of a sudden what's going on but tonight, <laughs> Matthew, <laughs> I'm going to be a ghost investigator. <laughs> 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 Stars in your eyes if you're not seeing it. Um, how are you feeling about this, man? Worried. I came here the first time to Ireland and I jacked out. Didn't want to do it. Just me and Bucky. No. Really? I want to trekking through the forest with Bucky on my own. Yeah, we're, we're currently in woods right now. Trying to find this place. That's what I mean. I didn't realise how much of a walk it was. Yeah, it's a bit of a trek. We have been going for like 20 minutes right now. So, I don't Yeah, we did walk the wrong way, though. Yeah, it's weird, don't it? Because the GPS has told us to go this way. Come on, then. And I'm knackered from walking up and he keeps wanting to walk. <laughs> but let's proceed. Let's this yeah. So basically this place um, was for the higher society, the AK aristocrats. And basically it said that they had um, connections with the second, what was it, the Order of the Second Circle, which was supposed to be like a really dark cult. So basically rumours said that sacrificial stuff and dark arts practices used to take place in this building itself. Um, you know, what, is it true or not? Who knows? Uh, we're going to do a bit of a oh, spirit box tonight true. and we'll see. Eh? 100% true. Oh, it's 100% true? Yeah. So it's 100% true. Leave a comment, guys. Tell me if you've ever been here, uh, what your thoughts on this place. This is the first time, like I said, being here. So it's going to be quite interesting. We're going to do a spirit box and see what actually happens. Damn. I've got to imagine hashtag perfect car right now. Me, do not come here at night. Like numerous people, people have come into contact with hotel owners, managers. I've spoken to them and they said, Do not come here at night. Come here during the day and have a look around, it's all fine. But don't approach this place at night. So I don't know why. Uh. I don't know why. <laughs> this, this is the field we mess around in, man. I don't get paid enough for this. <laughs> silver in that. What? More silver in that. What? Is it a dead end? Is it a dead end? No. Do you know what this is? Guys, do you know what this is right now? What? Blair Witch. This what? is how it happens. Oh, I had enough of that in the uh, in the Romanian forest. Is it? Alright, hold on. Hold on. Check your map. Blair Witch no, too right now. No, we've got to go up there. I'm not going to go back to that. Just seems this year, but doing a lot of forestry stuff, investigation shit, you know. Going to the Fort Sports Goldston. If you're not seeing that video, go check it out. A little bit crazy. Just seems to be a lot of outdoor stuff this this year, and it just reminds me of a lot like Blair Witch. So this is really weird. 
We even picked that up, we got one, we got one hands free. We found something very similar to this, like a burnt stick, like that, in the middle of the uh, Romanian forest. Like, look, it's been made, it's got a spike on one end, bigger on the other end. Some say they're like sacrificial sticks. We found one in the Romanian forest. Damn. Alright, so we're here, boys. We've made it. It's just over there in the distance. But look at the view. Wow. We are on top of the mountains right now, guys. That view's something else, isn't it? Hell yeah. Wow. It's like a circuit board. <laughs> it looks like, like a big, big, big circuit board. So this is it guys, this is the infamous Hellfire Club. So all kinds of stuff used to take place here apparently, you know, apparently dark rituals, massive orgies and all this carry on. I mean, I said orgies. Orgies used to take place in here, bro. I thought he was talking about the typical Friday night. Oh, yeah, I have them too as well. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, all sorts of stuff used to take place in here. Apparently, um, there was actually a servant who was burnt to death in here. And it was actually from one of the members of the place. And uh, the, per the servant was actually bedridden. And the actual member poured pure alcohol over the guy and set him alight. And obviously, back in the day, you would have got sent down for that, and that, well, you would have been hung or whatever the um, death penalty was at the time. But obviously, he was, he was a member of the society, so he actually got away with it. And it was actually, I think it was called um, the silent witness um, bribe. And a lot of people got away with a lot of stuff in that society. So we used to have another floor at one point. Yo, what the hell was that? Wow. <laughs> so that again, man? That grave, come look at that so you can find the gravestone. It was used as the lintel for the fireplace, it says. And that's what's fucking made it haunted us. So I'm going to go into place. Oh my god, I'm not in the dark. 
So if you want to see Powerhome investigation, go to Carl's channel, Powerhome. It doesn't say what is the link, but which fireplace is the link. There's only two. There's only this one upstairs. Do you reckon that's where it's at? He used, he used basically the gravestone as the link. That's messed up in that. Yeah, or is it these? What's that? Is that? That's all wood, that. Yeah. I don't see it even having a lintel in there, no. It's just it? bricks stacked on top of each other. But he used it for a fireplace and he said, then when he did that, the wind blew the roof off and the locals thought he was angry. Spirits, when the roof blew off, the locals reckoned that aggravated spirits seeking revenge for the Kern's destruction were responsible and so the tales began. Over time, fact and fiction have become so intertwined that it's impossible to separate them. But why let that ruin a good story? The building was sold after Connolly's death and is said to have become a meeting place for the Irish Hell Club, Hellfire Club. The club was founded in 1735 by Richard Parsons, a known dabbler in dotting black magic. Right, so Dan isn't going to be joining us on this investigation, doing some spirit box work. Um, I think he's actually going to go do some uh, photography or whatever and capture some shit, but we're going to actually do some spirit box stuff in here. Just me and we here. We're going to see what, else, what comes through. It'll be quite interesting because obviously this place is, you know, said to be like one of the most white places in Ireland and shit. Uh, so it'd be quite interesting to see if we do get anything through the spirit box at all. So, I don't know. It doesn't feel, it doesn't feel very haunted at all. Uh, it feels quite chilled out and relaxed. So, who knows? Well, the physical doesn't really feel that in the last place that people are involved in it by the sound of it, don't it? Mm. So, what do, you, what do you reckon up to now? Well, well, I don't know, it doesn't feel that bad, does it? No. It feels quite relaxed, but like we were just saying, it probably was relaxed for the people involved in it. Well, yeah, exactly. Because they had nothing to worry about, did they? Obviously, yeah, apart from the people, you know, got butchered in and all that, carry on. And of these two who were kids? Mm. I don't know, it's weird. It's a weird shape structure as well, isn't it? You know what I mean? but yeah, it is a weird shape structure. It's quite interesting, you know, to jump back in time and obviously see what this place was about back, back in the day, but obviously we're not going to be able to do that, so. <laughs> Does it not remind you a bit of a church? Yeah, yeah. The shape like of it? A bit church like feeling to it. Well, not feeling it, but like the actual. The, the structure of the building. Freaks me out. Let us know if you know what a kern is. Yeah, what is a kern? Put on a grave. Is it just a, an Irish word for a gravestone? So you guys are doing a spirit box? Yep. Yeah, I'm going to do a spirit box. Alright, well, I'm going to wait outside. I don't want to bother this business. It's a plane. It's a bomb. Hi guys. Good luck. See you in two seconds. At least we know he's not going to leave us, Carl. No, he's walking yeah, through that yeah, woods yeah. on his own. Yeah. Sort of half hours of getting through woods and shit, so yeah. You ain't gonna do anything, so. Anyway, it's obvious. I'm not bragging it. Okay, come up to any spirits that might be here in this building with us now. You try and make yourself known to us. I've got a device in my hand that you can use to communicate with us. Can you say, what, what, what is that? Can you say, what is that? This is a device that you can use to communicate with us. Do you wish to talk to us? My name's Carl. This is Weir. I'm not coming here to harm you. I'm coming here to learn about you. Can you try to tell us your name? Um. Sounded like a woman, not it? Mm. If you was part of this Hellfire Club, can you say Hellfire clearly? I'm trying to 
Ce monde-là. Who's that? Hellfire. Hellfire. Shit. It said Hellfire, didn't it? Tell me that's an Hellfire. That said it? that went Hellfire. Like proper clearly. Yeah, man. Shit. So, was you one of the members of the Hellfire Club? No. no. Was you harmed by somebody in the Hellfire Club? Can you tell us a little bit more about yourself? What happened to you? Is that death? Don't know. Is that my name? No. Dead. 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 I'm sure you said Carl in an Irish accent though. Did you not hear that? I didn't make out what it said to be fair. We'll have a... I thought I'm sure it was like Carl. We'll look back. Please could you repeat clearly what you just said for us? No. Was you, was you murdered here? Was you murdered inside, inside this building? Was you a sacrifice? I was, yeah. I was. That sounded like it said I was, yeah. Yeah. Carl. Carl. It's Carl. It's Carl. It just said Carl. It's Carl. It's Carl. 100%. Oh my god, my body is just like so beautiful right now. How do you know me? Do you wish to do him any harm? Yes. Yeah, was that a yes? I think so. Daniel. What did that just say? Yeah, I said Daniel. I'm sure I said Daniel. I'm sure I said Daniel. Did you just say Daniel? Yes. Shit. Like, yes. Are you related to Daniel? Are you a relation to Daniel? No. No. Why did you say Daniel's name then very clearly? Is it because he's not in here with us? Was that injured? Me? Was that injured? Did he just say injured? Hang on, maybe check that out. I don't know. Dad! You all right, aren't you? This thing just said your name clearly and said injured. So, can you try to tell us what you're doing here? Try to tell us what you're doing here, please. Do you want us to move upstairs? Sunday, so I think it's going to come. If you want. Right, we're going to move upstairs. Sweet. 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 We're gonna, we're gonna move upstairs. You gonna follow us? Are you upstairs? Yo, what's this room there? For this room there? Oh, hassle, it's just, it's just a hassle. Carl. Carl. Carl, Carl. He had to say, come on, Carl. So, so where are you then?
Do you know why we're here? Do you understand why we're here right now? Do you know that we've not come to do any harm? Pleasure. 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 That's what, yeah, that's what it is. Pleasure. I was just trying to figure out what we're saying. Obviously, we would have come here for pleasure because they're yeah. gambling. They had all sorts of shit going on in there. They'd be gambling, they murdered people. Yeah, yeah. They sacrificed animals. Is this all true? Basically, Roger were a lot of disgusting individuals. Drop, drop. Shit. What's the whole Seriously. Have you got a head on the back? Like spider man. No, no. Yeah, she touched back and then came and knocked me. 100%? She was literally like that. Really? Nah, fucker like it. Felt like spider was coming down oh. there. Carl. Carl, it's just had my name again. I'm sure someone took my head then. Cobweb and spider though. There's no, there's no spiders in there, yeah, is there? Yeah, it's not, is there? You know what they say about the cobweb feeling? It's supposed to be like spirit activity or some shit. Don't be telling me. <laughs> Was that you? Just touch weird. Yeah. Yes or no? Did you touch Wheatie's head then? Try come through and make it clear, please. Andre, it's just said Andre. Bro, it's just said Andre. That's my that's like my middle name and shit. Yeah, no. I know. Shit, we had this discussion the other day, didn't we? How weird is that? Why do you like Carl? Why do you follow him around? Do you want to hurt him? It's done. Me Mate, you wanna hear what this is saying in here? Yo, yo, come on Dan, come join in. Right, well let's do another bit upstairs then and we'll, we'll call it quick. What, you get your vibes? Yeah, no, I keep hearing like voices in the wind. Really? Yeah, yeah we keep hearing that through spirit box. Yeah, yeah, it's like it's not coming through the spirit box but it's in like the distance kind of thing. Yeah, it is, it's like the wind's carrying voices that I don't know where they're coming from. That's what people say about the up here though. Really? I've just read that. Yeah, yeah. oh shit, people did. say they're walking at night and they hear voices and that. And the year, the year sacrifices going on, yeah, rituals going on. You start here on your own, trust me. Right, well let's just do another Yo. little bit up here. Bro, come up here with us. No. Well, Dan, just stay close, man. See, mention your name. Come on, Carl. Bro, I can be on the Shit. Yo, what? That's so, is that, is this the place? Oh my god, that's what we're in. Right, this room we might get to the beginning. Carl, oh, straight away. What's going on? How do you know my name? Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. And it said Carl then. Shit. Gaff, did I just say Gaffman? The thing it said, it was like a Gaffman. Bro. Do you follow me around? Why do you keep saying Carl's name? Wow, that said a full sentence there. So are you a good thing for Carl? Yes or no, clearly. Did you hear that? Yeah, what was that? That was the footsteps. Was. That was footsteps, that. That was like right here. That was footsteps. 100%. 100, yeah, 100%. I hope the cameras picked that up. There was footsteps right next to it. It sounded like a wall from that corner. Yeah, yeah. There were a good three steps then. That, yeah, yeah. And you heard it like that. Was, was, was that you in the room?
He wants us to leave. It's not the burning. And that's exactly yeah, yeah, you can smell the burning. Dan, can you smell it? No. Mate, you can smell burning in there. And that, that's a, that was yeah, yeah. a I didn't smell it's that gone. before. Oh, you guys as well, that's freaky. Kyle again. Did I say witch or, or bitch? <laughs> Can you be a bit more clearer for us? What? What? Yeah, yeah, what? I want to know why you keep saying my name all the time. I've generally like opened something up and it follows me or some shit. Do you know what I mean? Like, no, it's, I think it's attached to that. Do you think? I think it's attached to something like that. Are you attached to this device in my hand? I've got a splitting pain inside the meds, you know. Is that you causing Carl pain? What, what did I just say then? What did he say? He said it is, yes. So we'll fucking leave it at that. Shit. I'm just gonna keep it going in a sec. Why do you still reside here? Why do you still reside here? Weird, isn't it? It's getting a weird feeling. Help. help. She said help. You need us to help. The burning again, I can smell the burning. Carl stay. Carl stay. Carl stay. Do you want me to leave? Bro, she just told me to stay. Do you want me to leave? Shut no, no. Mate, I don't think I'm staying here on my own, man. I'm getting a horrible vibe, bro. Yo, shit. What? Yo, what was that? Did you see it? What the f***? What was that? Bro, what was that? No, what was that? It's a virus Shit. caught that, you know. Did you catch it on camera? I think I got it. Oh my days, if you got that. Do you understand that's a one that's a one in a million chance to get that on film? Shit. Carl, it might be. No mate, honestly, do you know what? I've got really bad vibes, right? Yeah, yeah, it's serious. Yeah. And now we've got to walk back through. Bro, it was like it was it was, it was, saying, it was saying like it, it said help. Bro, it said help and then it was like you can't stay. Oh it's not right now, man. Mate, the amount of times my name's just come through that, it's just not right. Right, we're, we're getting out of here. Right, it looks like we're leaving this place. Like, the vibes in there was getting a bit too much. Honestly, it was, it was asking to stay and shit. I ain't staying in there, no chance. The vibes in there were just, were just seriously increasing. And you really got an edge there. I can't even speak because I'm, I'm stuttering. <laughs> I've seen shit myself right there. Alright, we're going anyway. Let's get off this hill. Carl, I hope to God you got that shooting star, mate. I hope for. That was a shooting star, I don't know what it was, mate. That's sick. The thing is, I was looking at it, it was like it was like it was still. And then and then it like kind of shot off. Yeah, it, oh my god, yeah, it was, did it? Yeah, I, I see I as well. I've just seen a star and then that flash. I hope to God you got it on your hand. No, do you know what I thought it was? I thought it was someone's drone at first. No. And I just seen it like that and they went. Because, mate, mate, they, what about. Turn that brightness down. I'll look at your camera. What about them Which UFOs? That's what I was saying. UFOs were only spotted the other day. Oh, um, shit, yeah. From the other side of the house. Mate, you should have seen it. It was like it was, like it, it was hovering. You realise if you've caught that on camera and that's a UFO, mate, that's serious. If you've caught that still and then shoot off like that, that yeah, you you seen it as well with your eyes. You? I thought I did, but it was I like thought still. it was just a star, and then I seen the shooting. Thing. And then you it fell on my eyes. Oh, this is creepy, this guys. This is like so creepy right now. People like, have to look around and shit because I just feel like we're being watched.
Right, so we finally got back to the car after walking about half an hour back to this thing, you know what I mean? My god, that was that got that got intense that mate, do you know what I mean? Mate, it told me to leave, I was gone. <laughs> it, it told Carl to stay, asked him for help, but then told me to go. And I, then I, give Carl a bad pain in his head. How'd you work that out? Mate, that freak that. I don't know what is going on anymore. <laughs> Guys, leave a comment, please let me know what you think about this this shit. Like my name keeps coming through the spirit box. It's really, really strange. And it's kind of it's kind of starting to really, really confuse me. Um and it's you know it's quite worrying actually. Um I definitely wasn't gonna be doing any kind of lone vigil up there. The, the feelings I got was just so intense and I, I couldn't hack it. I really couldn't hack it, it was just a little bit too much. <sighs> I don't know. Maybe it does live up to its name. Hopefully in the future we're gonna be coming back to Ireland. And you know we can stay a lot longer duration and do this stuff. Um, I don't know. I really don't know. Mixed emotions about tonight, definitely. But that is it from here anyway. Check the links in the description. Exploring fighters, high times exploring. Check out the merchandise as well. Links are in the description. If you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. We've got loads of paranormal stuff coming on the channel. Like, comment, subscribe. We shall see you guys soon.